Hey guys, what's going on? What's up? How are you? Uh, as you can see behind me, I'm going to do a video today finally of uh, my He-Man Master of the Universe collection based off the uh, uh, Motu from Classics line based off the Mattel uh, collection. Um, I do have the 2000X stuff. Never really had a hold of the vintage stuff uh, from before. Uh, I haven't been able to really collect them to go all the way back because some of them are kind of pricey. But a lot of people have asked me to show my collection, especially a lot of my friends. So I'm going to try to do it by sections, explain how come I have it set up the way I do, and hopefully be able to remember all the names, so all the characters, and how um, uh, each character plays a role in in the collection uh, as a whole. Uh, so stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. So here is my first top row from my left shelf. These are the uh, figures that were either comic book form that would never be, be made in figure form before from all the uh, uh, eras from 2000X, uh, comic uh, from vintage uh, until this point. Some of them were straight only comic book. Right here I have uh, you have Previs, which is one of the gods. He holds the core of the center, uh, core of Eternia. Those are sh that's a shadow beast from the 2000X. Right here we have the creator of Hordak, but from the European uh, comic, I forgot his name, where you can change, uh, uh, I forget his Hord something. This is a merman from comic book color. This is Huntera, this is from Filmation. Goldman, he was from the comics, never made before. Uh, Geldor from the comic books also. Uh, uh, <clears throat> this is uh, Despara, which is basically She-Ra. She comes with an alternate head somewhere. It's probably uh, hiding. She's supposed to be She-Ra before she uh, found out she was He-Man's sister and she worked for Hordak and run his army from the comics. That's a comic book creation from the new 2000X, Mike Young production. The Spirit of Hordak. This is another character from the 2000X, a uh, henchman from, created by Skeletor. Uh, this is the uh, comic book uh, Trapjaw, the goddess, which is a... Uh, version of uh, of Tila, uh, which is a version of Tila uh, that basically in the comic book created the weapons for He-Man. This is Savage He-Man, which is basically also a comic book interpretation early on. Uh, Battlegrounds Tila from the comics, and this is the ancestor of He-Man from the Mike Young production, uh, King Grayskull, with his steed of uh, Battle Lion. Then we have Strobo here, also from the comics, from the Zodak, uh, you know, uh, uh, race. And Preternian He-Man, which was from the comics from Vintage that was never created. And he has a, what you call the, the, the cosmic key from the movie, a replica of it, it, it intertwined it with the collection. As you go down to the second row here, as you see here, we, uh, this is my filmation row for most of my filmation characters, which we have He-Man there. Skeletor, Hordak, but this is based off the classic one still, their version of Filmation. Then they made one that was actually Filmation 100%. Beastman from Filmation. He is from Filmation Cartoon. He's one of the Pharaoh card, I forget his name. That is Strongarm, Icer. Uh, uh, I forget her name too, also back there. Uh, the Witch. This is Plumdor, the Bunny Rabbit. Mask, uh, Evelyn, uh, Batros, Octavia, Scorpia, uh, Voltec, Evil Seed, Filmations, Hordak, uh, Captain Sunder, and then that's Madam Mad at Arms, uh, supposedly from Filmation, on a jet sled with Filmation Tila, which was another version they tried to do from Classics, and the Filmation colors of uh, Stratos with his staff. Uh, and uh, and back there I have Shadow Weaver, which is also a character that was from Filmation. And as I gradually go down here, here we have uh, uh, the Wind Raider, which is one of the vehicles available for the line. Um, <clears throat> which they made this character there, which is the Wind Raider Driver, 
based off the comic. He was never made before. Not he was not in the comic. He was in the model kits, and they actually created him for the line uh, through through the classics line. Back there, I have the dentist Molar, which they created for uh, show these to give from uh, I believe it was Seth Rogen or something like that. Uh, that it used to do those uh, ch uh, bites of chicken things. It was a parody comedy. They used He-Man uh, toys, and they would create it, and they made a figure of him. This is the original White Sorceress from the card from the comics. This is He-Man as King He-Man. Right here, when he gets older, this is from the Mike Young. This is Hero. <clears throat> he was a concept that was never done in vintage. He was supposed to be after uh, years later in the He-Man uh, lineage. Uh, this is the Attack Track writer. I forgot her name as well. This is Prince Adam from the comic book. Stratos from the comic book. And back there is the concept art that originally was supposed to be He-Man turning into different characters. Either a man from space, a man, a man that was a barbarian, or a man that was a, 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 like a kind of robotic or cybernetic. So this is a, his look as the barbarian. This is his look as the like a tank man, kind of robotic. And then they have also the uh, the other look of him being a spaceman, which is in the next shelf. That's the Wonder Bread Man, which was uh, the infamous uh, Wonder Bread mail-in that you send out. And they made him that, that nobody really confirmed if it actually existed. And this is the first concept of what Skeletor was supposed to be uh, before the toy line was created as well. This is also another concept of what he was supposed to be, which is, his name is Vicor. Uh, but uh, because he looked too much like Conan, even though a lot of people may not know, which I just found out recently, He-Man was already being conceptualized, conceptualized before Conan was even a thing. But they changed him when, before the release because he looked too much like, uh, meaning like the hair color and stuff over here, uh, because he looked too much like Conan the Barbarian. Um, so we go down to my uh, fourth row on this shelf, and this is the faction that was basically He-Man after the vintage line where they went into space which was called the New Adventures so but they made them in classic style so here we have Flog this is from the original toy line but since he looked futuristic I put him there because I think they fought, I felt they fit well that's a twist toy um, this is the rod from the movie um, I forgot her name. She's from the also from the New Adventures. Um, that's like what the Predator character is, Karate. Blade from the movie. Uh, we have back there Skeletor from uh, the New Adventures. Optic. I forgot his name too. Uh, <laughs> he's one of the characters that you could put water and advise up there. Uh, Tuscador. This is the He-Man from space, from that three-pack that was the conceptual art. This is supposed to be He-Man's son, a hero, uh, but He-Man's son. When He-Man's older, he has like a futuristic look and the barbaric look together. There's supposed to be a son in, in the future after He-Man becomes King He-Man. This is his son. That's why the colors on the figures uh, match uh, very well. Then back there we have the He-Man from... New Adventures. Uh, we have Shiro New Adventures. Uh, Flip Shot. Uh, Mara. Uh, I forget his name too. He's a uh, the guy that looks like a scuba diver from from that line. Darius, which was never made. He was also concept art. And the other uh, twisted guys from the original vintage line, which I forgot his name. His name. Is Twistoid and something else. I forgot his name. Uh, excuse me for that. I just can't remember at the top of my head right now. Um, forgive me for that. So we'll go down to the uh, my uh, I believe it's the fifth row. Yeah, sorry for this. Um, the fifth row here. Here we have. These are basically uh, variants of uh, all the factions, meaning from all the timelines, from New Adventures. From the classics, from vintage, from 2000X. Back there, I have 
Battle Armor He-Man. Down here in the back, I have uh, Power Punch He-Man, Bubble Powered She-Ra. I have Gwildor there, obviously, because I couldn't fit him anywhere else from the movie. As you can see there, uh, from the movie, with another Cosmic Key. That's uh, the ones that didn't really come out here in the U.S. Laser-powered He-Man. That's another driver. I gave him the face uh, to make it look distinctive because they're supposed to be builder figures. That came with another I bought for the second Wind Raider that I own. That is uh, Flying Fist He-Man, Dragon Blaster Skeletor, Buzzsaw uh, Hordak, and the Laser Light uh, Skeletor that was from uh, the European also release that never really came to America. This is Hurricane Hordak. This is basically He-Man's sister, Queen Marlena, that they made that she, when she was an astronaut. Because she was an astronaut from Earth that landed on Eternia, for those who may not know. And they gave her a suit and she, to turn to this way and to turn also to his mother, Queen Marlena. And I have Terra Claw Skeletor here. And then I have... Uh, Battle Armor Skeletor. Then, obviously, I have Night Stalker, the, the the evil steed of the horses. And from the Vintage line, Jitsu with the golden arm. So then we'll go to the, uh, what you call the last row on this shelf, right? And the last row here is basically the 2000X Mike Young production stuff. Uh, like right there, we have the Sasquatch from the those the, 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 the ice people uh, with the episode where he had the ice suit. I forgot his name uh, at the moment. Uh, got him as well with the dragon wings. Uh, Previs, I think his name is Previs. I'm not sure. Forgot his name. He's a horde too. Okay, okay guys, I'm um, back. I'm basically going to go over the names again. That uh, is... Uh, the ice dude is Chobla. He, the gentleman here that looks like a Puma guy is basically Chief Carnivus, Lord Dactus, Horde Wraith, Kalik, the Rockman, Evil Lynn in 2000X uh, Deco. This is her father, the faceless one. This is uh, Evil C, 2000X. This is also Trapjaw. Before he became Trap Joe in the 2000X, his name is Cronus. This is Previs. And this here is the Griffith Beast. Uh, Count Marzo 2000X. And uh, King Randor's uh, wife, which is, I believe, a, this, uh, ancestor of the sorceress, is Queen Grayskull. Then the uh, people from the Whiplash Clan, that's Pre uh, uh, uh Ceratus, uh, Ceratus. See, he has a hoop earring, Ceratus. Uh, Zodak from 2000X. I have him on mask. He also has a mask. That comes with. This is also uh, Man at Arms. Man at Arms from the uh, from the 2000X uh, collection, but in, in 2000X form. This is his brother, Decker from 2000X. This is He-Man, 2000X, with the snake armor suit they need to wear to fight the snake men. This is King Hiss, 2000X. And this is Skeletor before he came. Skeletor right here. Uh, his name is uh, Kaldor, before he became, as we all know, the traditional skull face Skeletor. So that's the last shelf on the left. So we're going to do Come over here to my middle shelf, and starting right in the bottom, as you guys can see there, these in my bottom shelf. These are statues, and basically many statues that was created by NECA from the four horsemen sculpts of the 2000X figures that were not released as actual figures in the Masters of the Universe Mattel toy line. So we'll start off with here. We have an antenna. This is. Hordak. We have a bus of Beastman there. We have a bus of Triclops, Stratos, Mechanic, 
Tila, Man at Arms, and Oracle. Then we'll go here. This is the 2000X version of uh, a 2000X version of Snake Face, Squeeze, Leech, Mosquitoar, Grizzlor, and yes, that's real here in the statue. And back here we have Leech right there. Excuse me, this is Tongue Latcher. I'm sorry. And that is Leech. Got a mistake and confused. We'll come up here. This is my shelf with the little minis right here. We have the Matt Ultra minis from Mattel, which I have Man at Arms, Stratos, uh, King He Man, uh, Battle Armor He Man, Boss Man, Zodak, uh, Scareglow, Merman. Crawful, Beastman, Faker He-Man, and Battle Armor Skeletor. And then back there we have the Loyal Subjects. We got Skeletor, Evil Then Toy Colors, Beastman, Triclops Toy Colors, Evil Then from the uh, over there, Evil Then from the uh, regular 2000X colors. Uh, over back there we have. Uh, Trapjaw and Triclops from Vintage Toys, Stratos, E Man, Man E Faces, and back there I have Man at Arms. And then I have these, which are basically Mega Constructs, which is the Lego form of He Man, that are the newer ones coming out now. He Man, Tila, Beast Man, and Skeletor. And we'll come up to the third shelf in the middle. These are more stations from the 2000X, but these are the uh, mainly villains. The first one I showed you was the Snake Man. So these are Skeletor's entry. You have the Jitsu version of 2000X, which looks really, really good and incredible. Uh, as you can see there, Jitsu. Evil then with her screech. This is the little creature that becomes that we've seen in the 2000X. That later becomes, let me see if I can focus it. Later becomes Stink or Battle Armor He Man, Clam Champ, Snout Spout, which is the firefighter elephant, one of my favorite characters because of his sure, uh, you know, ridiculousness. Real Blast. King Randor, he means father. Sorceress in in uh, that sorceress in uh, uh, 2000X form. We have a uh, web store, which he looks incredible, and I have here uh, lot store, which is clawful for some, most people, but I know him as lot store. So we'll go up here gradually uh, and uh, slowly, obviously. And um, this is, as you all know, Castle Grayskull. I have it folded so it can fit in the shelf. This here is the uh, King Grayskull. It's supposed to be a statue of him, so it's a translucent figure uh, that was shown in the 2000X. Then we come this way here, and we have anti Eternian He-Man, which is uh, from the comic books in somewhere in Europe that was never released. He's uh, an evil He-Man clone, kind of like Faker, but another version. Back there is a, uh, let's say, a 2000X uh, Jungle Snake Armor He-Man. It's the only 2000X I have out right now. Then we'll come up to the uh, fifth shelf. In the fifth shelf, I have, um, uh, as you see here, I have uh, the tri Triclops from Filmation. Filmation Triclops. The reels and second uh, release of uh, Filmation Hordak with Piglet right there. Or the uh, pig character. One of my favorite characters. He's from 2000X. was never released. Fangor. Back there we have from the uh, from the uh, 
New Adventures, we have Quake. We have uh, Lodor from the comic books that was never released. We have Vintage, oh, no, Formation uh, uh, Crawford as well, Formation Crawford. Then uh, back there we have Hawk, which is uh, on the stand. Obviously, she comes with two heads. I have two of her because one is supposed to be uh, uh, Strato's sister and the other one is Strato's love interest. Uh, but I forgot her his love interest name. His sister's name is Hawk. I know that. Uh, so I have two of her with the, so I can make two versions of her. Which they from basically just the color of her hair and the backpack. Here we have a Lizard Man from Filmation. We have Filmation Man at Arms right there. Filmation Tila. All right. So now we're gonna scroll down. And go to the bottom here. And in the bottom here, we have the Snake Men here next to the Royal Family, uh, which was basically uh, stemmed off from the filmation. So we'll start off with the Royal Guards. Here are the Royal Guards, which are protecting the Royal Family. There's another one there that you can intertwine with different heads and different. Uh, Battle armor stuff to make them look different and weapons. That's another jet sled that they sold separately before they got the approval to make the whole battle ram. That's the front end of it. Uh, there's another royal guard. Then we have here Adora, which is Shira, he meant sister before she becomes Shira. Then we have Prince Adam from the vintage uh, deco that was also in filmation. Filmation King Randor. From the cartoon, obviously. Make it look a little bit less bright. The Filmation cartoon. Uh, He-Man's mother, Queen Marlena. Which is the one that I told you that came with the extra suit. To turn her into the astronaut when she was from Earth. Before she landed on Eternia. Then we have one of the uh, bots. Uh, robots from the Filmation that Skeletor created and used with the henchmen. like... The Evil Horde and the Snake Man. Here we have Vintage Toy King Hiss. Vintage Style Squeeze. This is King Hiss from 2000X when he's in snake form. I couldn't fit him in the 2000X uh, uh, shelf, so I put him here, but that's basically what he looks like in 2000X in snake form. Then they created in 2000X snake guards that were part of the Snake Men. So these are snake guards over here. Here's one in orange. I told my daughter to paint these two. So I have one albino snake. Then I have one here that's a hot paint to match a tongue lasher uh, to be part of his race. So I have an albino one and I have a, a hot paint. My daughter did a phenomenal job. And here's a light orange one here. Kind of yellowy uh, snake guard. Uh, and this obviously again, tongue lasher. This is the Snake Face from Vintage Toys and General Rattler. Well, actually Rattler, but they call him General Rattler in the 2000X. And that armor was an, an add-on that they concluded with the collection. So you can make them vintage or from 2000X. Now we go to the second shelf on the right. Um, from top to uh, top going up. This is my Princess of Power. As you see, she basically. Which they made into classic style to fit in the whole classics collection. So they wouldn't look just only like the girly toys with the real hair and real clothing. Uh, this was made out of plastic. But they sculpted them, hand sculpted, and they look very nice and hand, uh, hand painted. So we'll start off here with Madame Raz. With a little uh, companion. I forgot his name. I think his name is Broom. Uh, we have Loki there. We have Cow. Then we have the... The uh, light, uh, light, uh, light hope, which is basically a version they created in translucent white of the character that talked to Shiva in the Crystal Castle. That was all one big light. They made him into a figure. He looks awesome. And you see that his staff looks like the Crystal Castle. His staff looks like the Crystal Castle. His name's Light Hope. Here we got Seahawk, Bo, and Bo's horse. Uh, I forgot his name at the moment. Uh, we have Jewel Star from the Star Sisters. Back there we have 
cast a spell on, uh, double trouble, which he becomes a spy that goes and becomes part of the horde as well. Glimmer, here we have Glimmer. Spinnerella, which is basically the Cyclonus version of Shiva. She does tor like tornadoes. Here we have Perfuma. She, she uh, her powers to captivate uh, people with her smell. Frosta, the goddess of ice. Starla from the Star Sisters. Mermista, the queen of the ocean. This is the uh, I forgot it's called Spirella, I think. It's another hawk from the Star Sisters. Then we have obviously Swift Wind. We have Shira, which is back there. We have uh, Pika Blue, uh, which is a uh, peacock powers. Sweet Bee, which is the buzz off of Shira. Flutterina, she is basically a uh, a uh, butterfly girl. Tall Star, that's the uh, Extendar of Shira. Angela, she's basically the Stratos. Uh, let me see, uh, the Stratos, Angela right there. The Stratos of uh, Shiva, also the mother of, of of this young lady here, which is Glimmer. And then, uh, I guess I cast the spell out. So that's, and then we have here, I, I almost missed her, the, 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 the master of trapping people with her cape. As you can see, her cape is like a net. That is Natasa, very beautiful figure, uh, very beautiful uh, detail. So yeah, this I'll pan out. That's my shelf for the Princess of Power. Then we'll go up here, and on this shelf here, I have my evil, my evil hordes, uh, which, uh, you, as you can see right there. So we'll pan in. We have a bot there from the filmation, one of the robots. We have a horde trooper, vintage mosquito. This is the battle ram vehicle. I have two of those. One is open, one is mint on box. This is one of the um, creator context character that was created by, I forgot by who, but his name, he's supposed to be like the Edward Scissorhands of He-Man. His name is Psy Chops. Classic vintage toy Hordak. Then we have a member. He's this is a member of the Snake Men. Um, so I put him here um, because I, I'm right on the space down there with the Snake Men, which I need to try to figure out. But his name is Lord Grasp. This is in Trapta. She was part of the Shira line, but she's a horde. And here's a another well, horde trooper. The multiple man over here with multiple pieces that you would build. Uh, uh, Majulak. Katra. And this is another concoction uh, figure that was made with pieces like from Trapjaw, Whiplash that were uh, prototypes that never came out in the Vintage series, but they were supposed to make them into the Vintage collection and never came out. His name is Terror. Terror. Uh, here we have the classic Vintage Toy Leech. Classic vintage multi-bot. Grizzlor, and yes, he has uh, hair on him. Uh, uh, give me a sec. Yeah, like I said, yeah. Sorry, he has hair on him. That's Grizzlor. This is Dragstore. And man, Tana vintage style. But this time, instead of having his legs that were all sculpted in one piece, it has four legs. So he looks really awesome. To pop out his eyes. With the pieces they give you, they exchange, interchange them instead of pressing the lever in the back, because these figures didn't have, arti uh, you know, action features because it would mess up the articulation. So there's my horde. Then I go up here to the fourth shelf, and this is uh, Skeletor's crew and his henchmen. So here we have. We'll start off with Screech, classic vintage Evil End. Faker He-Man with a sculpted head like Terminator because he's a robot that they made as extra for the collection. Another bot board from the head, or, you know, Skeletal Gentleman. Blast Attack, he would explode and become two. He never came out here. He was only released in Europe mainly. Classic Stinkor with the 2000X head. 
because I didn't like the plastic one here. Then we have right here, Panthor, which is Skeletor Steed. He's not flocked uh, because I think it cost more money to do it at the time. Here's classic Skeletor from the vintage toy. Webstorm. Again, Clawful for a lot of people also. For me, known as Lobster. Too bad. Spikor, which I painted his eyes all yellow because it does look more menacing. Ninja, another figure that was released late in the line from Vintage that I never got. That only came out mainly in Europe. Tricops with his little Seeker uh, uh, gadget from 2000X. Scare Glow. Back there we have Whiplash with the 2000X head, which also comes with the classic. Cobra Khan. Then this guy here is the Rotan driver from the model kit boxes that was never created, but it was in the art form in the boxes. His name is Destroyer. Uh, that's why you see that his chest looks like the Rotan front of the Rotan. Uh, and his gun is one of the guns that were on the side of the Rotan. Here we go. We have Merman with the back card back head that they made because I don't like the vintage one. Trap Jaw, as you can see. Comes with the multiple pieces to make him to Kronos. I colored his eyes yellow because I thought it would look more menacing. But another Griffin right there on top. That Beastman is riding because he controls them. That's Beastman. Classic Beastman. So yeah, that's my Skeletor uh, Henchman shelf. So we'll go up. Panthers shelf number five. And this is the Heroic Warriors. He-Man and his crew, basically. So we're going to pan four, and over here we have, from the three pack that I was just telling you from the figures that were supposed to be made, uh, that were concept art, and they never did, and he was a good guy. He looked, he, he almost looks, I think he was supposed to be Spanish, uh, and his name is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, Plasmar. You see he has the horde. You know, translucent, uh, uh, you know, uh, crossbow. Then we have Roboto with the vintage 2000X, I mean, head because I didn't, and the vintage one is back there because I like, prefer the 2000X. This is Zoar, Mossman with the 2000X head because I don't like the old vintage one. We have Fisto. King Randor from the cartoon, I mean Vintage Toy. Stratos from the Vintage Toy. We have uh, Extendar. Back there is Stonedar, which a lot of people say it's Rock on, but I could think Stonedar really looks more like Stone to me. Sorceress from Vintage. Mechanic from Vintage. Clan Champ Vintage Awesome School. Here we have Oracle. And obviously the man of the hour, He Man, with his Steve Battle Cat. And another head you can change on Classic, and that's the Vintage Toy head. Again, we have Snout Spout from the Vintage, but you can change his head there. I put the 2000X so they gave me the option for that as well because they never made the 2000X version but they made heads so you can swap many faces with an extra head you can have with him included man at arms from the uh, the vintage toy as you see has no mustache vintage Tila vintage Buzz off, but he has the 2000X head, so I made him look at 2000X. So I like that skull. We have their Ram Man. We have their Cyclonus with the 2000X head and Halo in the back. He looked like a Samurai Warrior. Then we have their Rock On. Then over here we have. Vintage style 
Zoda. And then the vintage toy style Rio Blast, which is the cowboy of He-Man's world and universe. So yeah, this is my heroic shelf. And we're going to come up to the last shelf on the right on the top. And here is basically either figures that never came out and then most of the figures of the contest that were made by certain people and then Gratimir, as you see here, is vintage from the filmation uh, made in, in classic form. This is Gratimir. He was on the filmation toy. This is one of the giants, like Purvis. Uh, like I, I said, uh, like uh, um, the one on the other shelf that hold the core of Eternia. Uh, and this is Titus. And this one here is Megator, which is the evil, the evil, uh, you know, the evil uh, giant. And then we have Gygor, which is basically like uh, what that ape from Batman is, the smart uh, for the He-Man universe. I think it's, I'm not sure. Then we have here Drago Man, which is the actual guys who scope the toys. Got a chance with the contest to make their own unique new character, and they created a Dragon Man, and his name is Drago Man. This guy was never created either. This is for a Trollin from uh, Oracle's world, and he's an evil, powerful uh, wizard from his world called the Unnamed One. He comes with that alternate head, and he actually created the Snake Men based on the lore. And there's a big fan that did stuff independently for He Man and Mattel. Uh, named Daniel Benedict, and he created, his, from his contest, it was six entries, he created this character here, which is based off uh, Castle Grayskull. His name is Castle Grayskull Man. Then the character you see here is created by a gentleman named Scott Knightley, which was the brand manager that was in charge of all these toys being made and being approved, that was a fan from when he was young. He entered the contest and lost. He never made the figure. He wasn't chosen because they were chosen. Out of six people, they only chose one. So because he became the brand manager, they allowed him to make this figure. And he's a time traveler. And his name is the Mighty Spectre. Now, the thing about it is, a lot of people say, oh, yeah, he has similarities to Deadpool. But in actuality, this contest was back in the late 80s. So Deadpool wasn't even created yet. Uh, this was out of his head, uh, you know. Then we have here Sir Laser Lot, which is basically the knight in the He-Man world. And this character, believe it or not, was created by none other than the comic book character, uh, creator of Green Lantern, Jeff Johns. He created him. And then we have over here, the Fearless Full Talk, which is the actual kid who won the contest back in the early uh, 80s or late 80s. And this was the figure that was chosen. He's a, he, he, he hypnotizes and puts people in comas with his uh, photography powers. And this is the figure that was made. His face is literally a camera. Uh, and his gun looks like a camcorder almost. Uh, very obscure, very wild character, but they finally made him all these years later. So I'm gonna basically pan off here and we'll go down. And just to, you know, so you guys can get a wide shot. So you guys can get a wide shot. Right here. I don't know if it's coming in clear enough, but it's a little dark. Yeah, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope I was as descriptive as possible um, and that you guys enjoyed it the way that I enjoyed doing it. Um, you know, these videos it took kind of long, I, I know. Forgive me for that, but I hope you stay tuned all the way to the end and, uh, you know, and, and give it a whirl. I hope you like uh, my uh, Master of the Universe uh, Classic Line Collection from Mattel. I think maybe uh, later on I'll do uh, the one for the 2000 next one. I'm able to take them out and kind of put them somewhere and, and do the video. But, yeah, for all you that may not have known, the story behind these and some of the uh, history... I hope my video helps you out. Uh, 
And if you don't and didn't know, and this is the first time you, you see these, I hope uh, you generally enjoy it. Yeah, guys, there was one more thing that uh, I forgot to mention and I wanted to also show you from the collection. I'll hand over here. This is the uh, Point Dread with the Talent Fighter and the actual driver that was created. His name is Dogator. Then we'll uh, squeeze ourselves right over here. And then this is my last piece that I have for the moment. Uh, the Rotan, which is uh, the classic vehicle which the canopy that is actually removable for the classic look and you can have the canopy on it like the model kit and then I have some a uh, little bit of artwork here uh, of Modulock from the box or Multibot rather with the bio I have a, a schematic of uh, what's inside and the blueprint of Castle Grayskull which is very cool that's an uh, actual Letter opener of Skeletor. <laughs> and I have a loyal subject exclusive Prince Adam here. And we'll pan over here slowly, real quick, one more time. And we'll do the artwork for the Wind Raider on the box, which was created still by the original guy who did the original boxes from the original toys. I think his name was Rudy Burrow. There's the Wind Raider, and then it came with the background. In the back of it was a schematic, uh, like blueprint of the of the of the Wind Raider. Then we'll scan it in here. This is the artwork for the Point Dread with Man at Arms, like you see there. With then, uh, which I tried to frame to keep it, you know, preserved. With the uh, selling, uh, what you call it, uh, from the boxes. Uh, oh my God, what are those called? The uh, oof. The, you know, the display where they show you how the, the figure looks and the action features. I forget the proper term, excuse me for that. We'll pan over here uh, right now, and this is uh, the Rotan with uh, Skelcon on, on it. And uh, you see a Wind Raider, another Rotan, Castle Grace Call. It comes with the bio of the Rotan and Skelcon with a picture of Castle Grace Call. So, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoy and uh and uh you know um like I said I hope you guys like it. Uh like, comment, share, subscribe, see you soon. This will be uh, uh a collection video, I guess, a one off. Uh they take kind of long because you can see there's a lot of stuff to show. I hope you guys enjoyed it, didn't get bored. And uh, it's like I was saying, the details that I described were not for real hardcore Mojo fans that know all this stuff already. Uh, it was mainly for those who come and may not have an idea. So take care, guys. Thanks again. Bye-bye.